for me, this art was a real escapism. It has just allowed me to escape the reality at times when things have been too much and focus on the good in this world and positive things. The series is a collection of portraits and accompanying tales of the NHS staff who were there along my journey when I was recovering from my ovarian cancer diagnosis in Nine Wells Hospital in Dundee. I was diagnosed with ovarian cancer in March 2020, age 33, and it was just as the pandemic was unfolding. I had been misdiagnosed for 18 months or so, um, but I knew something was wrong and I persistently um, looked for answers, really. On Wednesday the 4th of March, I went for what I thought was a routine checkup or appointment. I went upstairs and I reached the room and I'll never forget that the doctor who I expected to see wasn't there and there was another doctor and a nurse in the waiting room and he just said, have you got someone with you? And it was at that point that um, I just knew it was cancer. I'd known something was wrong for a long time. Um, and I said, yes, he said, this, I think this conversation is going to be um, different to what you'd expected. I found out that it spread all through the abdominal cavity, um, which was just, I mean, life-changing, a, a huge shock. Um, and in the same conversation, I found out that because it had spread so much and because it wasn't diagnosed at an earlier stage, um, I would also lose my fertility. I remember going out to the car park. Um, my mum was with me and um, we met my dad in the car park who's got Parkinson's and he walked over towards me and I remember telling him about the cancer part. I think I'd expected that, but when I said that I had lost my fertility too. I remember actually falling back against the car a bit because the depth of the pain and the shock was just so intense. In December 2020, um, we were in the throes of the second wave of COVID and I went into a hospital. I had stuffed the art materials into my bag that morning um, as just because I don't like being bored, basically. And as I lay in bed, in my hospital bed, I was just so inspired at the teamwork. No matter what role they play, it was the dedication they have to their patients. So I started to draw from life. And then from there, I went on to create individual portraits. The first portrait was um, Margaret the Cleaner, who, when I noticed what she was doing, that was what really inspired me to even start the individual portraits because she'd brought in this lavender spray. She brings it in herself and sprays each room just to add her own personal touch and make sure those rooms smell the nicest that they can for the patients, which I just thought was really moving. There was the porter who just got a blanket to make sure that I was covered and warm when I went down for my procedure and chatted all the way and told me funny stories. Miss Sai was my consultant. I mean, she is just an incredible consultant, incredible doctor. She always goes the extra mile. And I think it was all the personal touches. You know, you're not a number with her. It's like you're the only person she's treating. It's not one person, it's the whole team. And every single person is so valuable. And I really wanted that to be portrayed in the series. So today we're going to Nine Wells Hospital and in the community garden we are going to meet two of the staff I'm really looking forward to seeing again. So Caitlin the dietitian and Lorraine who's a nurse. So Jelly mentioned at the end of the consultation, oh can I take a quick picture of you and I was like oh what's this for? <laughs> she asked if she could take my picture and um, explained what she was doing with all the portraits um, and then a couple of months later um, it popped up on my social media feeds and I couldn't quite believe that it was me and I was really touched by what she'd written about me and you know a lot of us go into the NHS to make that difference <clears throat> so actually seeing how that impacted Jilly was it was really nice and it made you feel like you were doing a good job and that your hard work was worthwhile especially in the last couple of years so yeah it was lovely. I just can't believe it's really what Jilly was going through at the time and she actually, she was gifting us all this 
and she was going through such a hard time herself and and her darkest moments and she was thinking of other people and I just couldn't believe I was blown away by it to be honest. I share the portraits on my Instagram account but she hasn't seen the original so Oh, it's yours. Thank you so much. Could I give you a That is so, so amazing. What, what an artist, eh? Yeah, absolutely no, amazing. Um, so thank glad you, you so like much. it. I feel really emotional, actually. Yeah, I do. The diagnosis, when I say it's life changing, it really is life changing. and. I won't be the same person again because I carry the pain of it and there's always an uncertainty that you carry underneath. But there's another side of it where you really see a beautiful side of humanity and you notice more, you know, the beautiful things in nature um, and you really have that feeling that life is short and there are no guarantees. So I just want to make the time I have count. And my counsellor has spoken to me about being joyful and heartbroken at the same time and I think that would probably sum up how I feel.